Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you my EMD locomotive bundle. So I have five different locomotives here, all manufactured by EMD, and these already have tutorials on Crafty Fox 2, my second channel, if you are interested in that. But I just want to showcase this to you guys on my main channel in case you haven't seen this. So first off, we have a Union Pacific GP15-1. It's commissioned by Piper Technic. And here's what it looks like. It's a switcher built from 1976 to 1982, used for yard work and light road duty. And they were nicknamed Baby Tunnel Motors because they actually have a radiator section that looks a lot like the SD40T-2 and the SD45-2 right here in the back. And um, yeah, let's go on to the next locomotive. Right over here, we have a GM EMD GP20. It's a demonstration unit. Commissioned by Zachary Plant, it says on the side here, Electromotive EGM in big letters right here. And these were built in 1959 as uh, demonstrators, and they were later sold off to Southern Pacific. And notice right over here, uh, the window right here, that doesn't have like the center divider that a lot of locomotives have, so this is like a really old model. And it's actually the second EMD production locomotive to be built with a turbocharged diesel engine. The first one was the SD24, which we'll have later down on the line with the zebra stripes. Anyways, let's go on to the next locomotive. This is the CECX 1919 Cummings QSK95 demonstrator. And this is commissioned by Zachary Plant again, and it was rebuilt from a Union Pacific SD90 Mac-H to uh, demonstrate a tier four compliant Cummings engine, the Q. SK95 and it entered service with the Indiana Railroad Company in 2014 which is quite recently but right now it's owned by the Knoxville Locomotive Works and its designation is KLWX1998 in Tennessee. Well, there's that locomotive and we're going to move on to this one. It's a Santa Fe EMD SD24 also commissioned by Zachary Plant built from 1958 to 1963 it's made in the zebra stripe color scheme where they painted it black and they added these white warning stripes right over here on the side before they changed the livery later. And the SD24, this was the first uh, EMD production locomotive to be turbocharged and also notable thing in the front, this pilot like the plow is more boxy than the others. All right, so let's move on to our last locomotive in the showcase. This is the Fermex SD40-2. Now this is commissioned by uh, Mr. Gamer 69 in a live stream. So this comes from Mexico, and you'll notice in the front here, uh, the pilot doesn't have a plow. And I've noticed in a lot of YouTube videos that I watched of the Fermex SD40-2s, they don't have like plows in the front usually. It's just flat, so I just made it flat to be fitted in with the rest. And also a notable thing about this one. Uh, improved design for the Fermex, uh, their green stripes here on the hood. You remember when I made the SD70 ACE, it was a lot thicker. It was like a, actually a block thick, but I managed just to leave it as slabs. So it does look like this. And the SD40-2, this is a fairly common locomotive. Uh, the last SD40-2 that was built for Mexico, however, was in 1986, but these still run to this day. So also, yeah, I'm using like this a new 3D uh, vent for the back of the SD4-2 just to make it a little more accurate. Um, but yeah, that's it for our showcase of the five different locomotives. Let me know what you guys think of this new format. I'm just doing this because I know when I release tutorials, a lot of people, uh, they just watch the intro before clicking off the video. So I wonder what if I just did the showcase and then the tutorials can be on my second channel, Crafty Fox 2, if you guys are interested. And maybe that'll help the YouTube algorithm. You can see in this chart, it just goes straight down after the intro, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hit the like button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.